Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miroko Chan, episode number 11. Okay, the previous episode, um, the ghost, the big ghost, the female ghost, which is lurking around the teacher. I think her, his name was Zen. Yeah, uh, she started causing problems for Miko, obviously, because Miko is, you know, in, in class and she, the ghost is on top of her continuously. And I'm guessing since the ghost is a bigger one, uh, Hana was having problems, you know, her life energy was getting, I don't know, probably depleted because of the presence of the ghosts and that's why she got hungry, she got like, you know, a little bit, uh, like, you know, uh, sick, not sick in a way, but she was feeling bad, she had to go to the infirmary and all that and Miko was able to kind of gauge the whole thing and what is happening because the ghost was there, it was basically sucking up the, uh, uh, the life energy that she has and it's obviously easily replenished if she eats so <laughs> yeah and like the whole uh, anime is kind of making it seem as if this guy is like you know like is making it it seem as if he's killing like you know cats but i think it's probably something different and not I'm, i doubt he's killing cats but you know like how usually anime does stuff it tries to like you know, make you like you know point you towards a direction which is actually a fake one while the like you know the original reason is something hidden behind it uh, i'm not sure why the cats are hovering around him but you know like he's probably not killing cats but in the end we do see someone um oh uh, the, the the ghost the ghost jump scares miko there's another thing that happened in the previous episode uh the ghost in in the kids like you know disguise it jump scares miko and uh, now only one turn is left for the big divine spirits to protect miko and after that it'll be gone i'm guessing so that was that and in the end we get a little like you know glimpse of um like you know like i don't know like cat and some person shady person like you know kind of moving around doing something to cats so weird stuff are happening i doubt that is who knows maybe maybe that is zen I don't know let's just see let's wait for it i'm sure they're going to give us an answer so yeah without further ado let's get started this is uh miruko chan episode number 11. so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go whoa oh this is zen This is the mom. Oh no. Um Hello, lady. Whoa. Oh my god, she looks crazy. She needs help. She doesn't even have eyebrows. That's even scarier. Oh my god. Oh, oh my. Wow, this, yeah, yeah, this is another mentally ill person destroying their child's life. Great. Oh my god, so this is like his story. This is Zen, isn't it? Yeah, I recognize his face. Oh no. Wait, so is he really killing the cats?
<laughs> She's eating. <laughs> She's eating. <laughs> what is this girl? I don't know what. Okay, I'll probably take away the video for copyright. I don't know what type of <laughs> like. I think she he's a, a language or literature teacher, English teacher. So, <laughs> what type of stories are they reading? Like talking about corpses and stuff. Like, I don't remember my schooling having. Um, I'm talking about my school having, you know, stories. Like you know, in their in the study material, which had stuff like this like <laughs> wow uh okay one thing um oh yeah i really like you know like i'm going to talk about this this mom this Zen's mom she reminded me of another character from a manga i don't remember the name of the manga it's a um, it's a pretty what can i say psychological horror type of a manga where there is a controlling mother like this i think the whole story is uh revolving around that mom and the child how the mom like you know controls each and every thing the kid does and it, it's like it's an insane ride it's an insane like you know manga and it's just it just keeps escalating in in a bad direction and this this lady reminded me of that that person i don't remember the name of the manga i, I I've read it. It's been a while. I've read it. <laughs> well, because your class has a lot of spirits. What? Ah. <laughs> uh. Is, is she going to confront him or something? <laughs> he doesn't even kick. Probably because of his mom. Yeah. I wonder if his mom still is so controlling. Even now, like after he became an adult. Oh my god. Crossings like this kind of, you know, scare me. Like, I've seen so many isekais that I feel like a truck is going to come and... Okay. More of them. Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, what do you even do about this? I think she will need to confront him. All right. Oh, the big the cats are gone. Oh no, I realized something. This is the mom, I think, this ghost. It would make sense. I think this, this, this female ghost is his mom. Maybe his mom is dead. It would make a lot of sense if that really is the case. Oh boy, proof. Well. Oh, great. Hmm. Lost cat reward. Oh my god. Yo, move. I'm in a hurry.
Uh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I don't think it's wise to go in that direction. She does have uh, the protection of the spirits, but this is this we're talking about a human here. If he had starts attacking her or something, I doubt the spirits will protect her. Oh, oh no. Oh no, wait, wait! Oh my god, oh no! Oh my god, he remembers now. He hasn't actually realized it. Okay. Oh my god, the ghost is also... Ah. Run kitty. Oh my god. Ah. It wouldn't work, the cat would have died. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Wow, the cat is very calm. I thought it would run away. It's pretty fast. The bigger problem is the ghost. But I, you know what? I think the, the ghost is a lesser problem because we have this protection of the spirits. What? Oh no! What? What's that? Oh no! Oh great! Karkun. Okay. Um, wait, why? Wait a minute, what? Okay. No, it doesn't make Wait a minute, why? Like, he has the cat spirits hovering around him. Like, if he really cares about cats, then why are the cat spirits around him? Like demonic cat spirits. Like I can understand. Okay, wait. A okay, so he really does like cats. Oh no! Wait. Okay, he does like cats. Okay, there you go. But then why are this? I don't know. Maybe they're not cat spirits, maybe they're something else. Like, maybe I've been misunderstanding this whole while. I'm sure this is the, the female ghost. Yeah, the, the face also matches. This is the female ghost. Yep, that's, it's the mom.
सुनो हाइट तक एट वाव इन Oh no. Oh my god. Wait, what? What is wrong with that's a cat? This this lady really need help. Okay, oh my god. Okay, now I understand why the okay, it okay, it makes sense. Why are there so many cat spirits hovering around him? This lady has been killing cats. Which probably he brought in. Okay, so did he tell everything to her? Oh. Beef bowl. <laughs> no, I don't think cats eat chocolate. Okay, wait, so... so... Yeah, she, he told everything to her. Well, because you have stuff in your back. Yeah, it's the mom. Great. Oh yeah, I, I forgot about that. So there's a separate person who is killing cats. Wow, this is a whole misunderstanding. Great, this is a whole misunderstanding. You're not kidding. Oh. Oh, wait, he was patrolling. That was okay. You know, that guy in the previous episode, in the end, it was him patrolling. Oh, these are the cats. Okay, okay, I understand. It's not the... Okay, I understand. Uh, wait, who's... Tato... Okay. Oh, maybe, yeah, it's probably that. Well. Yeah. Uh, probably because he doesn't have time to yeah the mom is dead there you go god
Yeah, it's that kid, the one who asked. Yep. Ah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, in a different way, but still. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this okay. Okay, so I think there's no one actually killing cats. It's just they're abusing them. And the cat spirits are basically cats who have already died and because he was patrolling and everything trying to find them out, the spirits kind of stuck with him. Hmm. Will she tell him that you have your ghost or something? Hmm. I think she's going to tell him. Oh. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Go away, what the? Uh, oh god. No. God. Oh my, everyone's coming now. Oh my God. Oh, no! it's going to attack her. Oh, wait. No. What the hell? Oh, he was, she was, okay, she did that deliberately. Because now the spirits will come. And hopefully it will be able to exercise this thing. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's, that's the end of the protection. That she has been getting. Yep, that's the end. Okay. Alright, that was kind of intelligent, I have to say. But it was also like, you know, like her only... Uh, what do you call it? Her only way of protecting herself. She had to basically use that up. And... Okay, there's a few things that kind of were cleared out here. First of all, um, I, I think that there's no one killing cats. Like, that was like a whole misunderstanding, I think. Or is it? Like, like we have been seeing the um, posters. 
where it's like written like cats missing here there and yeah they were saying something about cat being dead or something being injured so there is someone who is injuring cats or abusing them as he said okay that's true but i doubt they're killing cats like i always like you know like i always thought that someone is killing cats but maybe that's not what was happening like obviously the big misunderstanding here is regarding him where everyone i'm sure most of us thought that he's probably doing something to the cats but then then there is someone out there who's abusing cats like that person is still there that means and that person will continue doing this unless and until that person gets captured okay there you go that's the end yeah so okay so the, the problem is still we're going to still face the problem now okay um anyways okay so yeah this episode okay a lot of revelations first of all the mom um as i said i think i remember i've read a story some like you know what story i don't remember but uh, i i don't remember at all the name of the story uh, not story but manga but it had a uh, a mom like you know like the the whole uh, story was based on that the mom and the kid where the mom basically controlled the kid and you know like uh like it, it came to such uh what can i say uh, it, it escalated such in such a bad way that she yeah i remember it um she even started committing murder which the kid got to know but you know like since the mom had such a grasp on the kid and such a control on the kid that she had to live with that knowledge that my mom is a killer but couldn't say anything to anyone and the mom would always emotionally blackmail the kid and say that oh you don't love me you don't love me like uh, you know no i do remember the dad was a good person yeah the dad was a good person in, in that uh, manga but the mom was kind of like you know crazy and like oh, yeah i remember that i don't remember the name but i remember reading that it was a messed up story and yeah my like you know like controlling your kids each and every movement and just you know like like in this extent like obviously there are like not there are but there definitely are parents who kind of control like you know their kids and that is somewhat required obviously because you know children they won't know what to do and their morality are not developed enough to actually make decisions proper decisions when especially when they're a child but not to this extent like what is this like she's like yeah like 100 marks you've got 98 what's the two like <laughs> two extra marks like like lady have you like do you know what how much difficult it is to get that 98 marks like what are you even on about <laughs> like god not only that the whole thing emotionally manipulating and like saying that oh you don't love me like you know you're also going to like you know uh throw me away with stuff like this like like so bad like what can i say and i'm 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 probably guessing something happened to her in her past or something you know that's why she's like this and uh, like you know like she didn't go to any mental help you know like they didn't get any mental help or go to a doctor so that's why she kind of escalated into this person monstrosity that she is she was and basically like you know making your child's life hell and in, like you know in the beginning when we saw her and everything i wasn't able to realize and then in the after that you know after the intro and everything when uh, miko is going back not going back but following um zen and when we saw the <laughs> the ghost that's when i realized that oh this is a mom most probably because otherwise who else would it even be like you know this type of obsessed and saying like don't look don't look so yeah like that that was pretty as easy to guess but i still wasn't able to realize what was happening with the cats because here's the thing now i'm sure like you know like 
the the episode where we see the the scary guy and this guy you know both of them coming and both of them trying to get the cat miko you know miko decides to give the cat to the 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 other guy the guy guy with the cat spirits you know and the wife spirit who's keeping an eye on him and since miko saw zen having these type of demonic cat beasts you know she, she obviously like a normal people would think she thought that something must be wrong with this guy he's doing something to cats so yeah i should probably not give the cat to him so that's what obviously any normal people will think if they suddenly see such a scene in front of them so now here's the thing um turns out both of them were like you know loved cats it's just that you know like um his situation is a bit complicated now that episode in itself was uh what can i say was an example of don't judge a person by their looks or don't judge a book by cover it's pretty ironic to think about it that <laughs> actually that you know the don't judge a book by its cover that applies to both the characters both that guy you know the scary guy and this guy as well now here's the thing um you know what if miko wasn't able to see the spirits you know she would probably not think much about uh, zen because she wouldn't be able to see the demonic cat spirits behind him it's because of her enhanced vision she she saw weird stuff behind zen and that's why she came to the conclusion that yeah this guy is pretty bad news so i should probably not give the cat to him and in it's that in itself is like well, what can i say the whole don't judge a book by its cover it it pretty much applies to this situation but i would disagree here because the thing that miko sees is like a uh, supernatural power so obviously you can see spirits and it's pretty normal for anyone i'm i'm saying yeah, like anyone to judge someone if they suddenly see that person has weird demonic spirits lurking around them it's pretty pretty what can i say normal to judge that person so here's what happened obviously miko was able to see the spirits that's why she judged she had came to a judgment that yeah this guy is bad news i should not give it to him so that was one of the what can i say pretty normal thing for her to do so the whole <laughs> like you know um saying that don't don't judge a book by its cover it it probably doesn't apply in this situation because yeah this was like a very exceptional situation so obviously she would judge him if she suddenly sees him having these type of uh, cat spirits lurking around him and uh, yeah so <laughs> but unfortunately the guy obviously zen zed zen was not at fault it's just bad circumstances and you know bad luck so that's the thing now here's a few other things that i think like you know we can come into a conclusion for uh, you know from this episode uh, number one, obviously he loves cats. Um, number two, he used to take the cats to, uh, not cats, but cat who he found to his house. The mom killed it. Oh, God, like, now, I thought that maybe that's why, you know, like the cat spirits are lurking around him. You know, these cat spirits. But turns out that's actually not the case. Um, it's actually the uh, the cat spirits of the cats who, um, you know, uh, who have died here in, in these few days. Because as he said, he's been patrolling at night and he comes across these type of situations. So from there, these cat spirits, I guess, starts following him and you know possess him you can say or something like that and is, is following him around that's why so it's basically a recent thing like i'm like for a moment i thought that the cat spirits that she he had her lurking around him were were all killed by the mom that's not what's happening like you know i actually realized it later on that's not what's happening the mom only killed that one cat 
and I doubt uh, Zen brought any cats back after that. You know, because obviously he realized what happened and he wouldn't do that anymore because the mom would do it again. So I doubt he brought any more cats home. So that's 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 the one cat that the mom killed and that's it. But all these spirits that are lurking around him are spirits of other cats who have like, you know, since he was patrolling at night that probably found him and started following him around. So that's that's another thing that got cleared in this episode here and uh yeah like my god like it's like a very messy situation like what do you even do like like the bomb is dead and then even after that she's like you know like not living this guy live his life properly just you know being a burden on on his son on her son even after death and yeah like what can i even say like bad luck now i really do think that he 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 definitely needed to ask for help you know i'm talking about zen uh even especially when he was a child but what do you even do as a child you know like like this is a tricky situation here like um like as i said like he should have asked for help but since this whole thing is like you know since he he's like a child and the mom is basically his only guardian i doubt he would have been able to do much unless and until proven you know like he could have just asked for help you know go to a teacher or like someone someone for help like yeah this is happening this happened help me but the mom would pro probably act like, you know, nothing happened, everything is fine. And like, you know, like unless and until proven guilty, you couldn't do anything to her. And you know what would happen after that? She would start abusing his kid even more. So that's why I'm saying it's a tricky situation. Like he could go and ask for help, but that would probably backfire to him because he's just a child. He couldn't do much. Now, if there is someone who, like, you know, like an, an adult or someone who, who from them, like, who actually realized the situation and went to help him, you know, and that would have been better, I think. He, as a child, he probably could not do much thing. But if, 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 like, you know, if someone got notified about this and they realized what was happening and the severity of the situation, you know, um, and they could probably go and help him but him as a child he probably wouldn't be able to do much and you know as a child he would also probably be afraid of the situation as i said like you know backfiring where the mom might start abusing him even more so yeah like like this is bad thing like as i've said like i've i've, I've read quite a few mangas and animes i've seen as well with this problem here you know over controlling parents and usually it does not go this far, you know, this far of like, you know, this, this mom basically killed a cat because, you know, like, because his son is paying attention to other things like that type of, this, this is, this is that type of crazy stuff that's happening here. Usually like, you know, like it doesn't go this far. It goes pretty far, but not this far. Uh, but as I said, I've, I've, I've pretty much come across only one manga, which kind of takes it this far. As I said, I, as I mentioned in the previous portion. Uh, the manga where the mom is so controlling, you know, and that's the only manga I've read which kind of takes it this far and this one as I'm seeing it now. So yeah, this. Oh boy. Okay, um, that was that. And then like you know like okay and then the next thing that uh, miko does here is pretty intelligent i have to say in my opinion it's that she she basically it needs like you know you need to have guts to do that she basically like you know made him herself a lure or a bait and she just like you know addressed the mom and she was like just leave him alone now and obviously like you know, as soon as ghosts realize that someone can see them they're going to go attack them and that's why the ghost came and attacked her, which obviously triggered the self-defense mechanism of the spirits popping up and protecting her. 
and she knew that that's how it's going to go and this is probably the only way that she could resolve the situation i I'm, i don't see any other way she could have resolved the situation this is the only way she could have done that unless and until she went to some exorcist or someone powerful enough to destroy this ghost but yeah this is pretty much the only way of you know making the situation uh improving the situation and yeah the the the, the ghost is gone good riddance yeah and everything's fine hopefully i don't know what happened to the cat ghosts i'm i'm not sure i i don't i didn't see them i think they're still with him uh, i don't know so yeah now i have to say it, it was like you know like i love the way this show does it like you know it's a brilliant way of actually um what do you say like you know hiding the actual truth behind a few layers of um deceit and actually bringing that truth up later on this happened in you in that episode where we get the like you know the, the episode with the dad like they very masterfully did that like they didn't even let us realize that the dad was actually someone who has passed on that you know like that was like one of the best way i have to say this one it, it had like a whole like you know what can i say um mystery portion and you did like you know they probably tricked a lot of people but i feel like they kind of overplayed this a little bit you know because as i said i started kind of getting some like you know other vibes because they started like you know like portraying this guy as a killer so many times in a mysterious fashion like uh, for a moment like you know after one or two such scenes you remember that scene where we see uh, go to his room and he has like a knife or something and then there's like you know like some red thing in his hand I i'm guessing that was basically ketchup now you know obviously because he's not killing cats i'm guessing that was ketchup and maybe he was just cooking food you know so that scene and there were a few other scenes as well where, where it they the real anime really wanted to like you know uh trick us into thinking that yeah this guy is the killer which as i said like you know at the beginning i also thought that but as time went on it kind of started dawning on me maybe like you know maybe it's something else because they're kind of doing that so many times but I did think that something must be wrong with him because of the cat spirits that's following him. But I, I was pretty sure that he's not killing cats. That was one thing I'm pretty sure about. Um, but the the reason why it completely, the, the, the suspicion completely did not go away because of the cat spirits that are actually following him around. Like that was one of the biggest um, like things that actually still kept me like kept the suspicion the mystery surrounding this guy that yeah he must be doing something to cats otherwise why would the cat spirits be following him turns out that's a whole different thing the reason why the cats are following her is because of something completely different and that was like a good way that you know they actually um, tricked us into thinking that yeah this guy is probably someone bad doing bad stuff but yeah like as i said like you know the whole uh, thing the way they tried to make us feel that he's a killer that was a little bit overplayed in my opinion you know as they started showing him in like you know these type of mysterious situations where it makes they try to make us make it seem as if he's killing cats but you know like it's probably not and yeah that's what we saw in this episode it was not that it was something completely different so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm able to properly explain this, but yeah, like the, the, the best part of this episode, I have to say, is the, not this episode, but the whole, like, you know, the way they properly made this arc, story arc, and made this situation. The best part and the brilliant part, I have to say, is the cat spirits, because I think that's the only thing that probably made every one of us feel something is wrong with that guy. If the cat spirits were not with him, I'm sure a lot of us would probably like you know after a few times we would probably feel like nah they're just you know trying to trick us to think that this guy is a killer you know he's not a lot of us would have feel, felt that if the cat spirits were not there since the cat spirits were always following him I'm sure most of us still had our suspicions on this guy unless and until they actually explain the reason why the cat spirits are following him and that's the brilliant part of this little you know mysterious thing this mysterious story arc 
the Caspers, the way they actually ma manipulated us to think that, yeah, this guy is bad. But no, it was something different. Like, that's, that's a job well done, I have to say. And the whole thing of the mom as well, I was not expecting something like that suddenly coming in this episode. Like, there was no mention of the mom and suddenly in today's episode, we suddenly see a backstory <laughs> with the mom. And then we realize that, oh, this female ghost is the mom. So, yeah. So yeah, that was a that was a great episode. Oh my god! And but the question still remains: Who's abusing the cats? Then, like, is there someone else? That means like, what's happening? Who knows? Maybe we'll get an explanation in the next episode. The next episode is the last episode. Maybe we'll get some explanation there. I'm not sure, but yeah, let's see. Okay, so this is a good thing, I guess. You know, like this guy likes cats, so. Yeah, like, there's nothing to be concerned about him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a nice guy. Okay, that's, that's good. Like, <laughs> I have to say, like, even in the flashback, they were still tricking us, you know, the way, like, <laughs> the way when the cat came in, when he smashed the present, the cat came in and the cat was kind of coming and the way he was looking at the cat, like that was still, like, you know, even in that portion, they were trying to trick us to think that, yeah, this guy is the, you know, um, is the cat killer because <laughs> they wanted that, uh, you know, like revelation to be that much more impactful because later in this episode in that scene where we see him suddenly trying to grab the cat in the little box um that's when we thought that oh my god he's going to do something to it so <clears throat> like especially because of the previous scene where in the flashback he he looked like that to the cat so as i said yeah like that was really well done i have to say like really a job well done i i have to say like this episode really portrayed the whole painting him as a villain you know in the first part in a brilliant way that you know even even at the end i had my suspicions and as soon as as soon as they actually told us what happened you know that scene of the mom killing the cat you know i think that yeah that happened just after the car accident just a sec yeah just after the car accident, that scene was shown where we see the mom kill the cat. As soon as that scene was shown, I everything like started falling into place. Like that one scene actually answered each and every question. First question is that, um, like you know, like why there are cat spirits following around him, even though it, it's not the spirit of the cat that the mom killed. Still, and like at least at that moment, I thought that the cat that the mom killed is one of the spirits that's following him. That's number one. Number two is, uh, you know, like why, like, you know, he, like, you know, he, he actually likes cats. That's another thing that we actually realize in that scene. Uh, not in that scene, but even in the previous scene when he brings the cat back home. And, like, you know, these, all these answers, uh, uh, questions gets answered in that one scene. And then we realize that, ah, we have been a fool. You know, this guy has always been a, uh, unfortunate character who just liked cats but the mom didn't you know like didn't want anything distracting him from his study so yeah so yeah like brilliantly done wow so that's it guys so that was my reaction to miracle chan episode number 11 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of miruko chan until then goodbye and have a nice day